giant television proudly presents Fee Fi Fo Yum. Busy, busy. Uh, studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Earth. Welcome to Family Fun for You with me, Les Dennis. Well, uh, you're you're well, you can't grab me. I'm a game show. Oh, ah. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? I can. Watch me. Now, oh, Fee oh, it's Fee Fi Fo Yum, and today's contestant, all the way from Glasgow, it's Electrify, and they'll be playing against the Blue Pineapples, who come from London. Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedoms. Guys, it's coming there. Hello! Hello and welcome to Fee Fi Fo Yum, the show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian's dinner. dinner. Here we are with our two teams of Hugh Munchies. That's you guys ready to do battle for their freedom. This is gonna be a great show. I can just smell it. Oh, hang on a minute, Brian. Is that you? Now, the only thing I can smell is fresh human cheese, and I'm going to eat them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you'll have to wait. And while you're waiting, perhaps you'd like to have a little trim round your snores. <laughs> oh, now you come to mention it, Des, it has been a bit itchy. <laughs> Let's meet Electrify! <laughs> Hiya, Cameron. Hi, Alex. I'm Cameron, and this is Cameron. Hi, Alex. This is Cameron. Hi, Alice. Hi, Cameron. This, this is Alana. Hi, Les. Hello, Alana. And this is Fraser. Hi, Alice. Hiya, Fraser. Very good there. You drilled the team there, didn't you, Cameron? Yes. And you've got three Camerons in the team? Yep. OK, well, we're going to call you Cameron 1, Cameron 2 and Cameron 3. Is that OK with you? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's uh, Electrify. Let's go over and meet the Blue Pineapples! Oh, man, how are you? Hi. Hi, Les. Good to meet you. This is Sarah. Hi, Les. Hi, Sarah. And this is Molly. Hi, Les. Hi, Molly. This is Joseph. Hi, Les. Hi, Joseph. And this is Salma. Hi, Les. Hi, Salma. Now, that's an unusual name, isn't it, Armand? You know, the, the blue pineapples. Why did you call yourselves that? Well, we thought it was a very unique name and creative. Yes, it is, because I don't think I've ever seen a blue pineapple. No way. I'm seeing five green ones, but you're blue ones. <laughs> that's the teams, and this is how we play Fee Fi Fo Yum. Teams, you will compete in a series of games to earn time. What does time mean? Freedom! Absolutely. The more time you earn, the greater your chance in the finale at the end of the show, which is called The Great Escape. Remember, the team that gets beat, Brian's gonna... Eat! After all, every giant needs his five a day. And a nose trimmer by the looks of it. OK, let's get on and play the first game. Now, after Hugh Munchies, which is you guys, Brian's favourite food is meatballs and sprouts. Yum. He just can't get enough of them. And you have to feed him as many as you can to stave off his hunger. You'll be using the catapults that Brian has made for you, using matchsticks and plasters. Hang on a minute, Brian. That's not a giant nose hair on the plaster, is it? Oh, I'm sorry, Tez. I tried to rip out my nose hair with it. <laughs> Brian, that is absolutely disgusting. I've told you about hygiene. Fortunately, teams, I have a glove to remove the offending article. There you go. Because remember, it's Brian's gob it's going into. Now, the team that feeds him the most will win the first five-second lifeline, but more importantly, take his mind off eating you for a while. Let's find out who's going to play. I'm gonna go with Cameron 2 and Cameron 3 and I want Joseph and Sarah. I've got my eye on you. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Feed me! 
Electrify, you'll be firing meatballs. Blue pineapples, you'll be firing the sprouts. You have until Brian's egg timer runs out to feed him. Good luck, teams. Brian, it's over to you. Three, two, one, feed me! That's it, teams. Support your players. I just got him on his neck, I think. That should yummy, stop Brian's yummy, stomach from yummy. rumbling for a while. So, Brian, how many meatballs did you eat? Two. Oh, charming. And how many sprouts? Four. Four. So that means blue pineapples, you earn the first five-second lifeline. Well Whoa. done. But it's still all to play for. That's all for part one of P5 Podium. See you in a minute. <laughs> Feeling tired and in need of a boost? Then you need Go Go Giant, giving you the energy to get up and go go! And go go! And go go! Don't live in slow mo, have some go go! A scent so raw. A smell so natural. A stench so pure. Oh. For a longer lasting linger. Oh, the toilet. You're watching TV. I'm sure I've got a bottle of that somewhere. Oh. Welcome back to Beef what a show. At the end of the first round, the Blue Pineapples gained an early advantage with a five-second lifeline, and every second will count at the end of the show. But don't worry, there's plenty of time up for grabs. And what does time mean? Freedom! Yes, the team with the most time will stand the best chance in the great escape. Now, I don't need to tell you that this is Brian's favourite part of the show. He is no. so easily pleased. <gasps> oh. Go on then, Brian. Introduce it. It's Desi's Tasty Challenge. Every time I've told you it's Les's Tasty Challenge. Potato, potato. <sighs> Desi's Tasty Challenge. Camera in two. I don't know about you, but I think Brian is a great big hairy lummox. Mm -hmm. What was that, Des? <laughs> I said I can't wait to find out what's going to go in my stomach. Oh, oh, really don't trust that silly little man. OK, Brian has put some food teams under this dish. I don't know what it is. It could be anything. You have to guess how much of this food I can eat in 30 seconds. Let's reveal the meal. <laughs> Sardines. <laughs> Oh, you've got to yeah. guess how many of those I can eat in 30 seconds. And you've got to write it down. The team that guesses right will get a five-second lifeline, of which I had a 30-second lifeline right now. So write down your guesses. Don't reveal them to the other teams. Brian does this to me every time. 18 years he's had me here and he gives me food I hate every time. Brian. OK, keep them to yourself. Both got your guesses written down? Yeah. All right, Brian, can I have some light, please? Here we go. Les, let's play Tasty Challenge. Just take your time, Les. Just 
So you're finished. All right. Hang on, Brian. Uh -oh. Mm. <gasps> All oh. gone. Electrify, can you reveal your guess? Four layers. You put four mm. blue pineapples. Reveal your guess. Seven. 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 Oh. That's optimistic. Very optimistic. Brian, how many sardines did I manage in the 30 seconds? <clears throat> uh, Des, you have eaten two sardines. So, Electrify, you get the five-second lifeline. Oh, well done. So, it's neck and neck right now. That will make it really interesting when we get to the great escape at the end of the show. We're going to take a break, and later we'll find out which team will end up in Brian's Tom. See you then. <laughs> hey, Mr. Giant. Nice day, isn't it? What's the matter? Come on, take your hands away. And the other one. Now both at the same time. Whoa! That's one hairy schnozzer, you big hairy freak show. <laughs> uh, but don't be sad, because help is at hand in the shape of the waste not want not nose hair yanker. Simply apply the yanker to the unwelcome hairy blockage and off you go. Whoa there, big guy, don't fight it. Just let it work its magic. Oh yeah, that's gotta feel good. And hey, don't waste all that lovely nose hair. Why not have it made into a fancy new hairdo? Waste not, want not. The waste not, want not nose hair yanker. 105 grots. Stocks limited. H Hello, is that waste not, want not? Uh, I'd like to order a nose hair yanker. You're please. watching TV. Could you charge it to my to account, head. please? Yeah, it's Des Lennis. Both oh. teams on five-second lifelines, and there's plenty more time up for grabs as we play our next game. Brian loves to play with his food, especially when it's alphabet soup, because he can try to make words out of the letters. I say try, because he can't make very long words. That's where you come in, teams, because you have to dive into the soup, get out the letters, and make the longest word you can. You can only have up to eight letters at any one time, but if you don't like any of the letters, you can change them. The team that makes the longest word will win that five-second lifeline. All clear, teams? Yes, yes! OK, let's find out who's going to play. Brian, who's going into the bowl? You'll do nicely, Fraser. Mm. And I'll have a mouth. Delicious. And who will be making the words? I want you, Alana and Cameron Wah, and Molly and Sal. Yummy, yummy. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Alphabet Soup. Fraser and Amon, you will die for the letters. You'll pass them to Alana and Molly, who will then pass them to Cameron and Salma, who will make the words. As always, you have until Brian's egg timer runs out. Good luck, teams. Goggles on. Over to you, Brian. Ready, steady, die! <laughs> That's it. Doesn't matter which letters you get out to begin with, any letters will do. Nice having it in tomorrow's Get eight letters onto your piece of toast. And then you can choose. That's it. Any letters to begin with, you can always change them. You've got to put some back over here, the blue pineapples. Come on. You never get a word with that. Got 
seven, you can still afford an Emeletta out there. Oh, I'm getting better. You've only got six now, you need another two to choose. I can see, I can see a word there. Time's running out. OK. Time's up. That's it, time's up. Rejoin your teams, please. Right, let's see. Electrify, you came up with a four-letter word, which is heat. Well done, it's a good word. Brian, you don't have to look in your dictionary. It is a word. And over here, the blue pineapples came up with a four-letter word, sand. But if you'd looked carefully, you could have had sander. That's what Brian needs to do his toenails, I think, a sander. So you could have got that, but you got sand. It's two four-letter words. You've both got five-second lifelines. Well done. So it's very close as we near the great escape. Remember, the team that's not the winner will be Brian's. Gina. We're going to take a break, but teams, you need to pay close attention to the ads because I'll be quizzing you on those ads after the break. And remember, you at home can play along as well. Not that your life depends on it. <laughs> Sorry, teams. See you then. For a smoother, more feminine you, try the Harry Mary Bearded Lady Rip and Rip. Simply apply and rip. Yeah, the pain is like nothing you've ever felt, but oh, mama, is it worth it? Look at all that fuzz free flesh. Yeah. Whoa, because I'm Harry. She's so scary. Warning the footage you are about to see is not for the ain't farted, I mean, faint hearted. Oi! That was pathetic! Call yourself a giant! You need some help, mate, and I know just the thing. Go on, my son, get involved! A bot buster bean ain't just any old bean, it's a bean to the extreme! <laughs> Here it comes! Talking. Mmm. <laughs> Botbuster beans. Making beans. It's making beans. It's what? making beans extreme. Welcome back to Fifiphoium. So, teams, how are your powers of observation? Because I'm about to quiz you on the ads you've just watched on GTV. If you feel you know an answer, hit your buzzer, and I will give you a two-second lifeline if you're correct. But be careful, because if you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer or don't answer at all, I'll pass it over to your opponents. This is really vital, teams, because you currently both have a 10-second lifeline. So this is your last chance, teams, to win potentially life-saving time. Good luck. Let's play... Ad Analysis. OK, fingers on your buzzers. Question one. At the start of the Bearded Lady Rip and Strip ad, Harry Mary was playing with what? Blue pineapples. Um, a, a racket. A, a tennis racket. A, a, a tennis racket. Let's see if you're right. Yes, you're right. You get two seconds. Well done. You're going to the lead. Question two. In the Bot Buster Beans ad, which kind of animal was blown off a blue pineapple? Cat. Ginger cat. 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 Yeah. Let's see again if you're right. Yes, it is a cat. Well done. So, you need to get in here. Question three. The Bot Busters Bean slogan is making beans what? Blue pineapples. Extreme. Extreme. Is it right? Bot Buster Beans. Making beans, it's... Making beans, it's... What? Making beans extreme. Yes, well done! You're doing well. So, question four. How many cans of beans could you Blue see pineapples. stacked up? Five. 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 Are you right again? Let's have a look. Yes! Well done! 
Question five. How many times did you hear the word beans? Blue pineapples. Three. No, that's not the correct answer. I can pass it across. This is your last chance to earn some time. Electrify. Five. Five. Let's see if you're right. A box of bean ain't just any old bean. Bean, beans, 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 making beans extreme. No, it was seven, so that was incorrect. Five was incorrect, so you don't get a two-second lifeline. So that means at the end of that round, the blue pineapples, you got four right. That's eight seconds. Well done. Oh. How will that affect your overall lifelines? Let's find out. After the weather on GTV. Here's Giant Television's latest forecast, brought to you by Bot Buster Beans, loved by giants everywhere. Hi, I'm Windy Wendy Weathervane, and I'm here with your GTV weather. Now, today, it's going to be mainly windy, especially around Misty Bottom. And that's your weather. I beg your pardon. You're watching Giant Television. Oh, to Daddy. Are you serious? Teams, this is down to you. Brian doesn't get to pick anymore. You must decide who will take on the Great Escape. <laughs> Remember, lives depend upon this decision. Yeah. Whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands, literally. I'll do it for Justin Sauer. Guys, it's all about having fun, OK? Yeah. OK, teams, I need to know your decision. So, Electrify, who's playing for you and why? Um, I'm playing. So, Cameron, why have you been chosen? Um, because I think I can fight for our freedom. <laughs> Good lad. Over to the Blue Pineapples. Aman, who's playing for you? I am. Why is that, Aman? Because of my huge muscles. <laughs> OK, Cameron and Aman, it's time for... The Great Escape. This is it. Cameron and Aman, Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice and their future hangs literally in the balance. <laughs> it's down to you two to attempt to release them, but standing between you and them is the great escape. <laughs> First, you must tackle the Donut Dash. Then it's on to the Kitchen Roll Crawl. But watch out for those meatballs. Once safely through, it's on to the rolling pin run. But beware, Brian's got his tea bags out. Next comes the chuck bar challenge, where you must build a walkway to Brian's big bowl, and then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player who gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates be released through the freedom shoot. I don't need to remind you, if you're not the winner, you'll be Brian's dinner. Oh, so Brian funny. is getting very hungry indeed. Electrify, you have an overall lifeline of 10 seconds. It's good, Cameron. Is it good enough? Blue Pineapples, you have an overall lifeline of... 18 seconds. So, yes, you have an eight-second lead. How do you feel about that, Aman? I feel very confident. What, with that and your muscles? You'll be able oh, yeah. to do it? Yeah. Cameron, do you think you can catch up? Yeah. Why? Because I think I've got the will. You've got the will? Yeah. And that's what you need? Yeah. Aman, you will go on Brian's first whistle. Cameron, you will go eight seconds later on Brian's second whistle. Clear, teams? Yep. Yeah. Brian, are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah! Come on, it's already up. Watch that donut dash. It's not as easy as it looks. And now Cameron's off. He hasn't tripped on the donuts. Will he catch up? Oh, Armand's always fallen off. You have to go back, Armand. 
So camera's catching up. Another one down. Amanda Cross, you're on to the chuck bar challenge. Cameron's across, it's very close. It's very, very close. Remember, you have to finish the chuck bar challenge before you can get across it. Amanda Cross, he's in the soup. Now you face the slippery slope. That's a hard thing. Cameron's not far behind. Cameron's catching up. He's into the soup. It's anybody's game. Either team could go to freedom. Either team could get eaten. This is the hardest part of the Great Escape, it seems. Just when you're so close to freedom. Amon's just ahead. Oh, it's so close, this. So close. Amon, you're at the top. You pull the release rope, that's it! Blue pineapples! Amon's muscles have won for you, go on, get out, get to freedom! See you, Amon, bye! Oh, Cameron, hard luck. Despite your amazing willpower, it was the slippery slope that let you down, and you failed to release your teammates, which means you're not the winner, you're Brian's... Dinner. Dinner. Brian, How over to you! Bad luck. Rules are rules. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You munchies in my tummy. Pee, fi, fo, yum. I'm going to enjoy you. That's it from P5 Po Yum. Brian's munching away on his five a day, but that won't keep him happy for long. Join us next time when two more teams of few munchies will fight for their freedom and hope to stay out of Brian's tongue. We'll see you then. Say goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. Uh, uh... Freedom. Hmm. I'm watching you, Des. It's Les! Get ready for your action-packed, non-stop summer full of all the hottest shows on CBBC. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! I'm thinking sunshine. Hi! I'm thinking sunshine. I'm thinking sunshine. Good day. I'm thinking sunshine. I'm thinking... Tis witchcraft. I'm thinking. I'm thinking sunshine. Have a non stop summer every day from 7 on CBBC. From pop divas to rock geezers, the top names and cool games. CBBC Music is the brand new website made just for you. Find new music or follow your favourite artists. Share your own top 10, watch clips and play games. Switch on to CBBC Music. Head to the CBBC website now.